Hyunjin Ryu gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, Matt, he reminds me, he's the closest thing that I've seen to David Wells. You watch him throw, he's 89 to 93 miles an hour. Kind of a big, loopy overhand curveball. Does have the hard slider and the changeup. A good athlete for a big guy. You'll know if he's on early. He has to get his breaking pitches over to make his fastball effective. First delivery to him on the way. Alex Verdugo. He's at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Hey. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Hernandez has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Well, Matty, if I could tell this lineup one thing, it would be let's get on this guy early. Day game in this ballpark, the sun starts glaring, starts getting later in the day, those shadows start creeping in right around the time that bullpen starts getting warmed up. Gotta find a way to scratch a few across early. Hard hit ball to short. The chef picks it up cleanly, and there's out number two. That is good. Now to the plate, Rafael Devers. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. When he finds his spot there, one and one. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, d -Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. High fly ball out to straightaway center. On the move is Springer. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So a fairly painless top of the first. Nothing in the Red Sox half of the first. The Blue Jays coming to bat on MLB Network. Garrett Richards is on the mound for the season opener on the road in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Digging in, Bo Bichette. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The pitch. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1 0. The pitch. Two balls and no strikes. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. And the pitch. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Ah, 
Ron, no leadoff walk just yet as that finds the strike zone and the count comes full at three and two. And here's a curveball looked at. Strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. It looked like this at bat had the makings of a leadoff walk when it started 3-0. So that's a good job not to give in and battle back to earn the strikeout. That's not always easy to do. Into the box now, Lourdes Guriel. That's a hit, the first of the year for the Blue Jays. That's what you want the guys at the top of the order to do. Set the table for the Monsters, three, four, five. Nice piece of work. But the runners back easily. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0-2. From the belt, the pitch. Ah, uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. George Springer the next to hit as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one he takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away comes set and the 0 1 so back to back sliders for strikes does he come back with yet another hey that's back to back really good sliders I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now Guriel leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning Richards comes set. Here's his offering. Nope. Now, ball and two strikes now. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Blue Jays held in check, and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Now at the plate, Jairo Munoz. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Pitch on the way. Swing and he pops him up. Tellez has room in foul territory, but this will land untouched. The windup and the 0 1. The bouncer to the left side. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Into the box, J.D. Martinez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. And he misses there, one and two. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. 
And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. You do that, and everything's going to be fine. In that strikeout, he never threw the same pitch twice in a row, and he won the battle because of it. At the plate now, Bobby Dahlbeck. As he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. Right fielder coming on. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. We'll go. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up Rowdy up Tellez. Toronto, the first baseman, number 44. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Called a strike on the outer half. 0 and 1. decision to swing that time and as a result it's 0 and 2 interested to see what the pitcher goes to now after getting that late hack on the curveball does he speed him up with some velocity now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off and it's 1 and 2 that's a good take on a fastball out of the zone hey I get it he's looking for a ball to drive but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone that's one you normally pop right up the 2 2 There's a line drive base hit to left field. Man, I thought this at bat was over. Down 0 2. He's able to work himself back into a hitter's count 2 2. And he's able to find the knockout. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. stands in as he looks at ball one here. One 0 -oh count. Here it is. No. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Here's Randall Gritcher. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. First swings for him in this one, with the runner still at first and one gone. Swing and a miss looked like the slider there, a ball and a strike. Down low, two balls and a strike. The 2 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. half-hearted attempt that time but they'll say he broke the plane and that's out number two fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there Richards comes set oh one pitch on its way hey that backdoor breaking ball just missed he had a chance to run it to oh two into the corner and slicing foul. The one two. two, ball, two Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. The two two. Two. 
swing and a miss and that ends the inning. One left for Toronto who we'll moved to the third with no score. So stepping in Hunter Renfro he's the number seven hitter but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Gone to lead off the inning. Hunter Renfro leaves the yard with a solo shot. First home run of the campaign for him, and they've taken a one run lead. Well, if you're going to get your first hit of the game, you might as well do it with a bang. He thought he could squeeze one past him, but he thought wrong. Stepping in now, Christian Vasquez. A liner towards second, but an atom ball right to him for the first down. Michael. So here's Michael Chavis now. His past history with Hunjin Ryu, he's one for three. Hit the other way out toward right field. Under this one is Gritchick, and there are two away now. Now back to right field. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Ground ball left side. A dive and he knocks it down. And the recovery will not be in time at first and the inning will continue following the infield single. At the plate, Kike Hernandez. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Springer on the run. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. We played two and a half and it's one nothing Boston. Bottom of the third now and that'll bring in Danny Jansen. First offering on its way. Yeah. Good breaking oh, ball, but he missed inside with it. A ball and a strike. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Now the one and one pitch. Aye. High in the air out to center field. Renfro is there and he has it for the first down. The batter number 11. Good job. Go. Good. Yeah. Striding in once again, Bo Bichette. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. No balls in one strike. Here it comes. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Blue Jays shortstop with a 1 and 2 count. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Fouled away. 
He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. And they'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. And he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Boy, it's been a rough go through these middle innings so far. This offense right now really doesn't have an answer for anything that he's throwing. He's attacking up, down, in and out in the strike zone. He's been awfully dominant up to this point. To the plate now, Lourdes Gurriel. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. A base hit in his first trip. Richards is ready. 0 1 on its way. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Two out, nobody on. Outside, two and one. Comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. Liner towards second. But this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On now to the top of inning number four. The Red Sox lead it one to nothing. New inning set to get underway, and that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Springer has a read on it. Makes the play one away. Next for the Red Sox, the second baseman, Gyro Moonlight. Coming to the plate now, Jairo Munoz. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Hard hit ball to second. On to first and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. For the Red Sox, the left fielder, J.D. Martinez. Ready for another chance, J.D. Martinez. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. So bad. So now to the plate, Bobby Dahlbeck, as he'll chase one up around the letters here for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Right side hit hard. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And there's probably no happier person in the ballpark. Bobby Dahlbeck has just collected his first hit in the big leagues and as is customary there's the ball being sent into the dugout someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. 
Yeah, good for him, and congratulations. Listen, he's worked his entire lifetime for this moment, and he's obviously trying to play it cool right now, but you can bet inside his head, he's on top of the world. Into the box, Hunter Renfro. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Boston strands a couple. They lead it one to nothing. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Here's George Springer. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Oh, that's 2 and 0. Strike called, two and one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. The two one home is swung on and missed for strike number two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Well, that's a nice base hit right there. Way to break up the rhythm. That was almost eight in a row. This guy was starting to get his bearings about him on the mound. Had to break it up. second and the runner back now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound Darwin's in Hernandez is out from the bullpen now as he'll get the call here on opening day Rowdy Tellez the next to bat as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Back up the middle. Reined in. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now batting third baseman. Vladimir. So striding in, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base nope. hit into the outfield. And this is low, ball one. Oh. Breaking ball called just a bit low. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. Two balls and a strike now. Springer at second with two down. Swing and a miss. That one tied him up. Fouled away. Yeah. 
Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Blue Jays held in check. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Standing in, Christian Vasquez hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Vasquez stands 5-9 as you see him in the right-handed box. He was a ninth-round pick during the 2008 draft. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. High in the air out to center field. Springer has a read on it. One away. The bat, the designated hitter, Michael Chavis. Into the box now, Michael Chavis. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Snatched out of midair at first base for out number two. The right fielder, number 99, Alex Verduga. Ready once again, Alex Verdugo. A hit in two tries for him so far. First pitch on its way. Ball one. Two quick outs in this inning so far. And his pitch count is really down. I think one of the keys is he's been attacking the strike zone early on, making these guys swing the bat so far in this one. Now the 1 0. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. He's got it. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one two three but they hold a one nothing lead. Back now here at Rogers Center and here's Heidi. Thanks Matt. In between innings I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at bats the rest of the game. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at bats. All right. Thanks Heidi. Here's the first pitch to him. Randall Britcher is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1 0. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Blew it right by him at 96. It's a ball and a strike. Now the 1 and 1 pitch is in there for the second strike. I got to count 1 and 2. Shoots this one over to first. Scooped up. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping in for the Jays, Kevin Biggio. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. And that's taken for a cold strike two. Ready to deliver the one and two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. I like how he worked him backwards for that strike out there. He wasn't showing the fastball early in the at bat but then went back to back once he had the hitter down in the count.
Up next is Danny Jansen as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Strike two on the curveball, 0-2. Oh wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Blue Jays go down in order. They still trail 1-0. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that means the plug-and-play utility man Kike Hernandez will bat next. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Springer giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Here now is Rafael Devers. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Gone! It's a solo home run for Rafael Devers. First home run of the campaign for him. And that gives the Red Sox a 2 to nothing lead. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues. But when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. A really bad result. Standing in now, Jairo Munoz. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. No hits to this point. The wind up and the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in, and out. Throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank because that guy made a nice two-strike approach right there. Made a nice two-strike adjustment. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Popped him up. Tellez moving to his left. Two gone. So digging in now, Bobby Dahlbeck. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. The Red Sox do pick up a run on the solo shot. The bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's now 2 0 Boston. So the lineup flips over and digging in Bo Bichette. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Xander Bogarts will come on defensively now as he takes over at second. Now playing second number two, Xander Bogarts. First pitch coming, here it is. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. 
someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even at one. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Playable for Verdugo, and there's one gone. Now that the designated hitter, Lourdes Gurriel. At the plate, Lourdes Gurriel. One for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. The 0 1 on its way. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting the front foot down. No one's getting a barrel to the baseball. And this is taken in for the second out. Now that the left fielder, Jay Oscar. Hernandez. Stepping in to Oscar Hernandez. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, what a stop on the slide. What an outstanding play to end the inning. Nothing doing here this half. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Red Sox two, the Jays nothing. Seventh inning ready to roll. And standing in the outfielder, Hunter Renfro. The center fielder, number 12. Here comes the first pitch. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. This is line to left. Hernandez moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Bases are empty. One man out. Hard on the ground towards short. Bichette gathers it in. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. Now that designated hitter, Michael. Stepping into the box, Michael Chavis. He has flied and lined out in two trips in this one. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Reined in. It'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So nothing happening this time around. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Red Sox are out in front, two to nothing. Next will be the cleanup hitter, George Springer. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Robert Stock gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Robert Stock. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. Hold strike 0 and 2. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. Nope. Inside and high with that one. One ball, two strikes. Hey, that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. Here's a fly ball well hit. After it is Verdugo. He can't get to it. This one's down. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two runs, he puts himself in scoring position and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. 
stepping in. Rowdy Tellez. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. And a curveball taken for strike two. Stock has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Springer stands at second with no outs. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Martinez is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Now in the box, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Heading out towards shallow right. Verdugo waits on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. And he will thankfully make it back to second as he almost got caught out there. The right field. So a runner at second, two down now, and the big right-handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box next. Here comes the first pitch. Two out here and a runner at second. And it's one and one. There is a base open here, so the option to work around him is there if they want to go that route. two strikes. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for Toronto. They trail things here two to nothing. Ryan Barucki has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 56. Ryan. Ready to begin the eighth, and that brings up the outfielder Alex Verdugo. First offering on its way. No balls and a strike to count. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. The Blue Jays are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. And that's exactly how he hoped to get this season started on opening day. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. And this guy certainly wasn't in this one. Didn't allow a walk all game long. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. One out, nobody on. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Back goes Springer to the track. Gone! A solo shot that time for Kike Hernandez. First home run of the campaign for him as the Red Sox have moved out three to nothing.
that was this lineup's third homer of the game. Dan, they're absolutely not going to cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting at night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D-Row, is, is I prefer to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Oh, With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Swing and a liner. But unfortunately, right at the shortstop for the second out. The batter number two. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter Xander Bogarts and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago lazy fly ball out to center field and Springer will tuck this one in to retire the side. The Red Sox tack on one more thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up. Boston leads it 3 0. In now, Kevin Biggio. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Trevor Hildenberger is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Right to him. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Now batting. Number nine. Now at the plate, Danny Jansen. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. First offering on its way. Bases are empty, one man out. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Verdugo's on the move. He can't get there as it falls in. He'll get it into second. The tag, and he's nabbed trying for two. The bat, the first stop. Oh. Yeah. Stepping in now, Bo Bichette, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the 0-1. Fastball called for strike two. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0-2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. 1-2-3 go the Blue Jays. Still down 3-0. Anthony Bass enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set for the start of the inning. And digging in is the outfielder, J.D. Martinez. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit in the air out to right. Right fielder giving chase. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. For the 
Next up for the Red Sox, Bobby Dahlbeck. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. And that's cut on and missed 0 1. And now the Blue Jays get a left hander up and throwing in their bullpen. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Now that the center fielder, Hunter Winfrey. Hunter Renfro will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Mm. Clearly fooled there on the slider. Now the 0 1. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field. A base hit. Long throw to the plate. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and he scores easily. Hey, that's what you try and do as an offense. You get a four-run lead. They're a grand slam ahead, Dan. But you're a former closer warming up. When you see a three-run lead and then your offense gets it to four and you know that same situation's gone out the window, don't tell me that didn't hurt you. Oh, it does hurt you. Oh. oh, it does because, Dero, the only way you're going to get into this game is it has to be a save situation. You sit and watch eight innings of baseball. You get up to warm up in the ninth, and you're all ready to go thinking, hey, I'm going to come in and get me a three-out save, and all of a sudden you're out of the game because it's a four-run lead. Of course you think about it as a reliever. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. One there. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. A run on two hits in the inning for Boston. Two, three, and four set to kick off the bottom of the ninth. The Red Sox on top, four to nothing. Next will be the designated hitter, Lourdes Gurriel. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Well, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Line to the right side. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. To Oscar Hernandez is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Guriel gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And he fouls this one off. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there. And he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. At the plate now, George Springer. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees at strike one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Smoke on the ground. Up the middle. The second for one. On to first. And he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. 4-0 the score this afternoon. The Boston Red Sox led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Darwin's and Hernandez claims the win out of the pen his first. Hyunjin Ryu 
pitched well allowing only two earned but ends up taking the loss. Trevor Hildenberger works two full innings in relief to record the save his first of the year. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian. We all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. The final line for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious.